Hi, today we're going to build a lanyard retractable coil spring to attach your uh, hemostat or your nippers to your lanyard to make it a bit more uh, easier to work with these items and uh, makes our life easier. So it's going to be uh, fairly inexpensive, which is always a good thing. So let's get on with the build. For this build of a lanyard retractable coil spring, you just need two items. First is a wrist coil with ring. Get that at Walmart in the uh, T section, cost is a dollar. Then you need a pack of ring terminals. Get that at True Value or Ace Hardware, cost two fifty roughly. So with that, let's get on with the build. All right, to start, you take your coil and you spread it open to find that uh, welded uh, connection that they do at the uh, uh, where they where they make it, and that's where you do your initial cut. Once you have that, you have enough to make probably two, maybe three, depending on how long you. Uh, you uh, cut this into sections. Now for a uh, hemostat, I like to be at least uh, an inch and a half, give or take. So right here is fine for me. I'll snip that. Now, on your uh, connectors, they all come with this plastic uh, ring on it for insulation. You don't need that. It just gets in the way. It's what I do. I'll take a pair of vice grips. Doesn't matter. It could be a pair of pliers. That's what I have available. Take a pair of pliers. Pinch down the uh, loose section. Twist and pull off. That comes off. Now you have a uh, connector that uh, will let you do what you need to. First thing, pull this out. You may have to wet it down to slide it in. It, it's pretty tight and that's what you want. And it's just a matter of sliding it in. I try to slide it in and far enough so that way a little bit sticks out there. I'll take the other end and do likewise. Let me trim off that little extra flange from factory. There we go. There it goes in. May have to twist a little bit to work it into there. There you go, good enough. Now, we gotta cinch this down. Now, you, you some of you may have uh, crimpers. I don't, I use a pair of pliers. I'll go on one half, tighten it down halfway, flip it around, and do the other side. And that should take care of that. Flip over the other one. Crimp this one down. Flip it around. And there you go. Now you have a retractable coil spring that can reach out there for about oh, over a foot if you need it and then uh, it will retract to its original position uh, when it when you're done it then uh, one thing left to do to uh, you may want to bend these up to you if you want to or not i just put a little bend in it reverse direction and now it should work fine with the crimping, a little bit left over, that won't pull through. On your side, it's nice and tight. So now, all you need to do 
is take a, a ring or anything else that will suit your fancy and you put that in there. This is where your uh, hemostat or nippers will go on to, this part of it. This will go on to a link on your uh, lanyard. So then, there you go. For about uh, 30, 40 cents, you can make uh, two. What a deal. Nothing like uh, do a little uh, design um, and work on your own own part to uh, keep the cost down. Well, hope you like it. A nice little way to make these uh, lanyard retractable coil springs for your nippers and for your hemostats. So with that, have a good day and go fishing. Bye-bye.